YouTube, Facebook, Facebook, TikTok. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Happy New Year to everybody. I hope this is the year that you can achieve. Excuse me. <clears throat> eh, yeah, you know, I was getting a little choked up a little tiny bit. Just a quick second, one, two. I hope this is the year that you get to achieve your dreams. And if you don't get to achieve them this year, 2023, I hope this is the year that you can get closer to achieving those dreams. And I want to remind you, the only way that you can achieve those dreams that you dream about, you got to take action. Action is the only way that you will get closer and achieve those dreams. Because you can dream all you want. You can pray all you want. But if you ain't taking no action, if you ain't taking no action, and there's no rush, I mean like there is, but there ain't, there's no rush, but this is key, this is key, this is key, let's go, in this video, I'm going to give you guys an update on my Litecoin position, alright, I'm going to give you guys an update, as you can see right now, Litecoin is trading at 75, 76, alright, and it's currently right now, up two percent now although litecoin is up two percent my position is down a uh, point 25 percent but that's okay because we're going to talk about it we're going to dig into it and we're going to see and i'm going to explain some things to you guys going to help you understand what you're looking at all right let's go so as you can see, here in my position, let's get this out the way because we don't need this. This is like here for no reason. It was being nosy. It was trying to get some of these skill sets that I'm trying to teach you guys. That's what that's what it was trying to do. So here we go. As you can see, I have my support line set up here. Then I have a resistance line set up here. But you know, previously, Things didn't go the way that I wanted to go. And that's why that's what be happening sometimes. And it's pretty cool because like I know what kind of be going on. So I got this. Alright. So going backwards, you can see price went below my support line. You know, whatever. Blah blah blah. Blee blee blah. We was around here when I was hoping to get that little more of a push so I could sell. But you know I didn't because I wanted to sell like around 80. That's what I'm looking for, so I can repeat my process. But anyways, let's go back to the year. So right now, the price is back in that zone. And when I say zone, I mean this, okay? It's my, my zone. It's my zone area. It's back in there, okay? So as I'm looking at this, I'm like, hmm, what's the come in the future? I don't know. We, we don't know. So what I do is I use my indicators. I use my indicators to help me tell me what's going on, right? So as of right now, what's going on in my head, I'm looking at the price point and the price point. Remember, the price point, price point is always right here, all right? Everything back here is the pads, okay? So to help you out fast, you just go all the way to your right, you're going to find a price point, okay? So I go down here. And I start flicking around some things, all right? I start flicking around some things. Down here, you have your time your time zones, okay? When you change your time zone, it allows you to get a bird's eye view, okay? You get to get a bird's eye view. So you know how birds be flying? And when they look down, they can see everything, okay? So right now, we're looking at the five minute chart. And you're only gonna be able to see like five minutes worth of stuff, sis. So I'll explain, you wanna understand real quick when I do this. So let's go out to the fit, let's go out to the 15 minute. All right, now you see how you can see more? Let's go out to the, let's go out to the 30 minute. Now we're gonna, we're gonna do some jumps. We're gonna go all the way to the four hour chart, okay? And it allows us 
to see a whole lot more. Now, each each stick represents the time frame. All right, so we're looking at four hour time frames. All right. So now I'm gonna tell you what, what I see real quick as I look at this four hour time frame. I see a beauty right off back, and what I see is the beauty is the MACD. All right. I see the color change is soon to come. And what I mean by the color change is, we know what this means. Going to be having some uptrend stuff going on. And we know what this means. We're going to be having some downtrend stuff going on. So when it comes to the colors, what's the next color? It don't take a rocket scientist to even guess that, right? So let's go backwards a little bit. Hmm. Let's see here. They got purple, they got green, and they got purple. Let's go back some more. Okay, we got a little long green here. When you see this on the MACD, it's kind of like long. That's what she said. Ah, ah. That's going to be like consolidation periods. Consolidation periods is just when the stock is trading sideways. All right? You remember how I always tell you guys that the stock does only three things. To, to remove all the confusionness. Remember this, stocks only do three things. They go, they go up, they go down, and they go sideways, like a back, like a backwards arrow, okay? Now the line's not gonna look like that. They're gonna be having some wiggly. They're gonna be wiggly, 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 doing some stuff. But that's what happens, okay? Anyways, going back, I'm gonna drift off. So let's go to the two hour. Okay, two hour looking nice. Two hour looking nice. I'm gonna tell you another combination I use with the MACD, right? And time frames and all this stuff. Because when you understand, right? When you understand all the tools, not just some of the tools, when you understand the tools. You can start using these tools. You can even start mixing the tools. You know, mixing them like, you know, matter of fact, let's do it like this. I like this better. So you have you have your pot and you have all your tools and you're just throwing your tools in there. Right? You have all your tools. Then you start mixing it all up. Now you start using it. Oh. Alright, so we on a one hour, okay? MACD pushing up, all right? So what I also throw in there, the moving averages. The moving averages on G. The moving averages tell you a story, okay? Let's go, to the, let's go back to the, the uh, five. As you're looking at the five minute chart, you're gonna see the position of the moving average changes, okay? Depending on how you're trading, if you're trading, if you're trading day trading, swing trading, short term trading, long term trading, all of these different different these are all different styles of trading each of these styles you're going to use different tools some tools you use here you can't use here some tools you use here you can't use here you know it's all mixed up in boobly gabolo boobly gabba gabolo gobala gabala bolele and you see over time it's over time it's over time right not over time like working at work that's the only over time we know or like a or, or like a uh a game right but over time like how I can look at this right now and understand everything going on I understand everything it's speaking to me it's talking to me right so right now I see that the price point crossed over the um the moving 200 
And when that happens, beautiful things happen. All right? I will just keep drifting off and drifting off, but you guys picking up what I'm putting down, right? So right now, what's going on in my head? Okay, so my price point right now is right here, and I'm looking to take profits. I'm looking to take profits. Is it gonna go up? Is it gonna go down? Let's see, I don't know. You can never get the 100% answer, but you can get damn near close. All right, so you're gonna change the movement, the time frame. I'm gonna look at the four hour. And when I'm looking at my four hour, now, when I say, when I say the four hour, we're gonna guesstimate the time now, not guesstimate, but the time now, the four hours moving forward, all right? So right now it's 138, round off 140. Four hours moving forward is 540. According to this, around this time frame, the price should be higher than what it is now, all right? Over time, you will notice things that happen in the stock market that you won't catch. Things right now, if you're just looking at this for the first time, and you're looking at it, you're all confused, you're lost, you're like, well, OMG. As time goes along, you, 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 you have to understand that the human brain, right? You don't even know certain things you're doing when you're doing it. Like, if you were to look at charts all day, every day, Without even noticing, you're gonna start noticing things and start talking things. You'll be able to notice patterns. You'll be able to notice what happens when this happens, what happens when that happens, what happens when this happens. Nine times out of 10, this is gonna happen when that happened. Five times out of 10, this is gonna happen when that happened. It's like, it's like we're computers. We're like computers that do stuff that we don't know that's happening. I know I'm going crazy right now probably. But I'm going to just end this video like that. Next video, we're going to be doing profit taking, all right? I'm waiting for the profit taking. My price drop. When the price drop on you, you just want a dollar cost average to pick it back up. You got the dogs in the background going crazy. Until next video, stay tuned for the profit taking. I also changed the name of the YouTube channel. The name is now Basic. Stock concepts. And the reason why I changed is that because you know I ain't where I'm at yet to be having my title as financial basic financial concepts. You know that's that 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 opens the door for a lot of different things and uh yeah so for right now I'm just stick to the stocks, you know, teaching the basics, the basics of stock. That's all you need and everything that you do is the basics and once you have the basics you can take that and tweak that Until next video